back, back, baby, I'm back, 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 back on real life Thursdays, back, 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 back. Hey everyone, it's your boy Ben here from The Bound Experience and I am super excited to bring you a real life Thursday here, uh, which is kind of crazy because I haven't done one of these in a while just because I was overseas, uh, obviously doing my daily vlogs and then also being on a mission trip. Um, but I'm super excited to be back and to be able to share just my thoughts of this trip that uh, I just went on and also just thanking so many people that need to be thanked uh, for being able to allow us to be over there. And I guess that's where I really want to start is I just really want to thank um, our family, uh, Mom and Jared, for allowing us to go over there every year uh, and to serve the people of Hungary. Uh, but I also want to thank all of you, uh, to anyone that gave, to anybody that um, prayed for us, to anyone that even uh, just watched the vlogs, that the support that you gave us is bigger than you will ever, ever realize. Um, and I hope you understand that. And for me, I don't know if I have words to describe this trip. Um, my mom and I kind of joked, not really joked, we really just talked about um, how this trip was gonna be special. And this trip, something big was gonna happen. And I was like, yes, this is gonna be awesome. I'm excited to see what God does, but I didn't realize that God was really gonna be using this trip to affect me in the way that it did. Uh, I know many times I'll say like, oh, this trip affects me, but this time I, I truly mean it in a way that's never had before. Um, this trip really opened my eyes to um, where God really wants me and, and also for the, the goal of sharing the gospel wherever I am. And that's something that I've always been honestly scared of at times, to just openly share the gospel and to be able to do it no matter where God has me. And so this trip opened those doors of like being comfortable, being confident. And with dad being away for a week, it was super awesome while I was there because it allowed me to just experience it for myself. Um, and I guess I really wanted to share with you all is the two big things that I was able to take away from, from this trip. Um, and number one is God is so faithful. God is faithful to the ones that put their faith in Him. And for us, that is so true as, you know, we raise money every year and to be able to sometimes struggle with not knowing if we have money, but this year I really just was like, God, I wanna give this all to you and, you know, if you supply our needs, that's awesome. Um, and if not, maybe this is not where we should be. And for Him to supply all of our needs, um, fully funded going over there was truly, truly awesome. And then to be able to see God being faithful throughout the trip from uh, being able to just see him be faithful while we're doing basketball or while dad's away and just to see him use what we love to do to glorify him. Um, and through that, we were able to see, you know, uh, right around 15 or so uh, young kids, young campers come to Christ. And that's why we do this, right, is to just see God be glorified and to see unbelievers become brothers and sisters in Christ. And that truly was awesome. And I guess the second uh, thing I took away from this trip was that you never know what God's going to do in your life. You never know where God's going to take you and you never know what he's going to do. I can't say this, I'm not going to make a video yet of this, but I can say this, God is working in some amazing, amazing ways. And he's allowed me to have a great opportunity that uh, I hopefully will be sharing with you very, very soon. Um, but it's truly awesome to see how God uses your past. For me, that's what's crazy is how God, how I can look and see how God's used the people I've interacted with, the people that have came into my life, being at Cedarville, all these things intertwined to then be able to see how God uses all those things to then really open the doors and, and really help me figure out where he would like me to be. And that's truly, truly awesome. 
And I really wanted to share um, this quote with you that, um, that has really stuck with me since I have left uh, Hungary this year. And it's by, uh, by Max Lucado. And it says that um, God never said that, it, that this journey was gonna be easy. But he did say that the end would be worthwhile. And I think that is so true of what this trip has done for me and what this trip has done for my dad and for many others. Is that it's not how you, I guess, get there. It's, it's gonna be rough, it's gonna be hard, it's not gonna be easy. But in the end, you get to see all the fruits you get to see everything that God is doing. And, and for me this year, that's what this was. Seeing God, for all these years I've been coming, see God use all those years to add up to this amazing, amazing time where I was able to see what God is going to be doing in my life. And for that, I'll be eternally grateful. So I guess for me, I just want to be able to say um, to you all, um, thank you. Thank you for just being there for me personally, for encouraging me, for always being there in every sense of the word. Thank you so much. And as this you know, trip is over and as I get ready to teach and as I get ready for many other things, I pray that this trip will stick with me and that the things I've learned I'll be able to apply here in the next few months. So again, Thank you so much for sticking with us throughout this trip, following, seeing what's going on. And, and as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and if you love this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of Real Life Thursdays, of, of vlogs or whatever, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and then click that bell for notifications to allow yourself to really be in tune for what I'm doing here. And as always, we'll see you next time.